Hi there, my name is Jared and you're watching Life in Plastic. Welcome back and welcome, welcome. If you're new to the channel, this is Life in Plastic, a channel that celebrates doll collecting. And we typically do a lot of unboxing videos, but in this video, we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're going to do a Barbie signature makeover in collaboration with my friend, Valerie, who has a YouTube channel called My Stitching Dollyverse, which I will link in my description below. Uh, so check her out later. Uh, and stick around because I'm going to tell you more about Valerie and show you what we're working on. Okay, so like I said earlier, this is a collaboration with my friend Valerie from My Stitch in Dollyverse. Uh, Valerie is a doll collector and also a very talented doll dressmaker, uh, which I kind of envy because I really wish I had that talent of sewing for my dolls. Because, I mean, I would just create the most fabulous things for my dolls. Uh, but that is not my talent. I have other talents which uh, shall be revealed. <laughs> but anyway, Valerie, uh, her specialty is upcycling. She will take a thrifted fabric, you know, like a thrifted shirt or blouse or whatever she can find, uh, and she'll make something beautiful for Barbie, which is exactly what she did for Elegant Rose Cocktail Dress Barbie Doll, the doll that we both agreed to work on. Uh, and I'm gonna show you what Valerie came up with. So here is Valerie's creation on my Elegant Rose Cocktail Dress Barbie. Uh, so it is a strapless dress with like an asymmetrical skirt that has a ruffled detail uh, and it is completely backless. It just has that strap that you tie in the back, uh, but it's completely backless uh, and it is this lovely purple, mostly purple print, uh, floral print fabric. Um, I don't know what kind of fabric this is. I'm not very, it's, it's kind of, I'm gonna guess it's chiffon. Valerie, I don't know, <laughs> let me know. Um, but it's very nice and uh, she did a wonderful job making this dress. Uh, so my challenge is to make some jewelry to go with this outfit that Valerie made. So we're gonna do that. Uh, we're gonna make some jewelry for Elegant Rose Cocktail Dress Barbie Doll. Uh, with my bead making tools, which I will show you. Hey there, we are at my workstation. Um, as you can see, it's kind of a mess. There are dolls everywhere. There's very little workspace left, but I have my bead crafting tools out. I have some needle nose pliers, uh, some cutters, uh, some bead crimpers, uh, and I don't even know what this thing is called, but it's pretty useful. So I started making jewelry for dolls pretty early on in my life as a collector. So this is another aspect of the hobby for me is I just like to make jewelry for my dolls. Uh, and it's very simple jewelry. I don't do anything too elaborate because I'm not that skilled. Uh, but we're gonna do something special for Elegant Rose Cocktail Dress Barbie to match the dress that was made by Valerie. Okay, so I'm thinking that because her dress has this floral pattern uh, with some touches of like a yellow kind of gold in there, that I'm gonna do gold tone jewelry for this doll. That's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna start by making some earrings with these earring posts that I bought from Toho Shoji in New York City. So what we're gonna do is we're going to make a dangling earring using elements from this chain that I also got from Toho Shoji. It's a beautiful chain, uh, but unfortunately it's not really a, a good scale chain for Barbie. So we're gonna just use this flat uh, decorative element 
All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out this flat decorative element from the chain using this tool, okay? So that we can use it for our earrings. Snip, there you go. <clears throat> so here it is. This is the part that we're gonna use for the earrings. Okay, and then there's this little tiny hoop. I don't think you can really see it on camera because it's not focusing. There's this little tiny hoop that I'm gonna use to connect the uh, flat piece from the necklace to the earring posts. Okay, so as you can see, the earring post is now connected to the flat piece from the necklace. So I'm just gonna add one more element to this earring, which is I'm gonna use this flat head pin with a crystal bead and attach it to the end of the decorative flat piece on the earring. So what you wanna do is you want to bend the flat head pin with your needle nose pliers so that it can form a ring that you can, you know, connect to the other piece. So I am connecting the pin to the end of the earring just like that. Okay, and here it is. We have one earring with a crystal at the end. So here it is on Barbie. Kind of long. Okay, and here she is with both earrings. Ta-da! So I think since the earrings are so big and fabulous, I think we're just gonna go with a simple chain for her necklace, right? So I think I'm gonna use this gold chain that I also got from Toho Shoji. We're just gonna cut the chain to an appropriate length and put a lobster claw uh, clasp on the necklace so that we can take it on and off easily. Okay, so I attached a lobster claw clasp to the end of this necklace and then I created a, so since the, the um, chains on the necklace were so tiny, I had to improvise and use a uh, round head pin uh, and just create the other end that the clasp would attach to. So here it is, here is Barbie's necklace. We're gonna put it on her and see how it looks. Okay, so here she is with the earrings on and the necklace on. I think the jewelry suite looks great on her. Uh, and it certainly goes with the dress. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, so I wanted the necklace to be simple since the earrings were already quite elaborate. Um, and I needed something around her neck since this is a strapless gown. So she needed something, you know, over here to balance this look. Uh, and I think we found the right balance with this jewelry suite. So what do you guys think? Uh, do you like it? Um, what could I have done differently, you think? Um, let me know in the comments. And just like that, it is time for question of the week. And this week's question is from my friend, all the way from Australia, Miss Pandora Box, who also has a YouTube channel called Quirky Crafts and Collectibles. Pandora asks, are you growing your hair? And if so, how long are you going to let it grow for? Yes, I have been growing my hair out. As you can see, it's almost down to my shoulders. Well, it's curly, so it just kind of bounces up. Uh, but it's quite long now, and I'm gonna let it grow for as long as I can tolerate it. Because I want, you know, my dream is to have long, luscious locks. Just like on the cover of like a romance novel or something. <laughs> so yeah. I'm very excited, um, so hopefully I can tolerate it for a, a long time uh, because I really want long hair. I want long hair. I just want to experience it, you know? We only live once, so we got to do what we want to do with our hair. 
Um, yeah, so thank you for your question. Uh, and thank you for noticing that I've been growing my hair out. Yeah, and by the way guys, if you have a question and you would like your question to be featured in an upcoming video, remember to use the hashtag AskLifeInPlastic. Okay, use the hashtag AskLifeInPlastic. That way I know that you would like your question to be featured in a video, okay? I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give me a like, give me a thumbs up, and if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my channel. And perhaps you've noticed that there's now a join button next to the subscribe button on this channel. Uh, so that means that I've opened up the channel to memberships. Uh, and if you're interested in becoming a member, click on that join button and watch the video that I made explaining all of the perks of becoming a member of Life in Plastic. And on that note, I wanna say a special thank you to my one and only elite member so far, Ms. Pam Militello. Thank you, Pam, for your support. I really appreciate it. I love you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video.